we're not walking, right? We're just we're, sitting it's here. a standoff. Yeah. Standoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, come around. It's got to be different. Uh, I'll start off with uh, Ty and Sicky. Uh, he he um, suffered some heat illness symptoms after practice yesterday. Uh, our medical staff felt it was best that uh, he spent the evening in the hospital. Uh, he has been released, and um, so he will not be available for Sunday's game. This just a reaction to practice, what took place during practice, and then later. I uh, don't have, you know, specifically how, you know, you know it, it occurred, you know, after practice in the training room. So, you know, a number of guys needed some additional hydration after practice. Obviously, it got it got pretty hot out there, and you know, it was a, uh, it was our, you know, our heavy practice work of the week. Will he be here today? Uh, uh, he 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 was released from the hospital this morning. And he'll be with you. He was released from the hospital this morning. I, I can't tell you exactly what the plan is. Uh, who else beyond Ty that we already didn't know who weren't going to uh, LA? Any other players won't be going with you at this point? Um, that, no. Donovan Wilson or uh, Donovan's here working today. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll, if if Donovan doesn't work in tomorrow's practice, then he will not be available for Sunday's game. Any change on the COVID front? I'm sorry. Any change on the COVID front? No change on the COVID protocol with Randy. With. Ty being unavailable, would Brandon Knight be your next option to tackle behind Terrence Steele? Or? I mean, he's definitely he's definitely an option. We all know what the options are, so I mean, we'll we'll take that to the game. I think Casey was added to the injury report. Was that? I'm sorry. Demonte Casey was added to the injury report. Was that yes. yesterday's practice? That was from Wednesday's practice. You know, the, uh, we had he had a collision out there, so um, so we'll see we'll see what he gives us tomorrow again at practice. Does that give you any hesitation going forward on some of these outdoor practices before it cools off? Or? Absolutely not. No, we're fine. When uh, since, since the opener, you've lost some key players and had some other adversity. Do you do you gauge where the team stands and if it's impacted them by how they respond in practice, or what are you looking forward to this to see that everyone is or, or still doing you know what they need to do? Oh, definitely, I, I think you know we all recognize that you you have. A starting lineup that you're looking to go go with into a game, and it's it's never just 11 players. So there's always different combinations of personnel groups, you know, on, on both sides of the ball. So it's really, you know, how do you tilt it, um, you know, from one to the other? And I understand it's more of the perimeter, but when you get into the into the line combinations, you know, you, that's why you have eight, and you know, you work your eight man combinations uh, just to make sure you're ready for things that may occur during the game. And overall, this week in practice, have the guys responded? Is I mean, again, you've had Marcus Lawrence out, Colin, some other things happen. Have you liked the intensity in practice? Yeah, definitely. I, I thought yesterday um, when it, when it heated up, you know, I, I thought the practice pace and tempo and everything didn't change at all. So I think it really tells you the the, the mental focus uh, that the team's in. So uh, the quality of work yesterday was 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 really good for Thursday particularly early in the season. When, when you look at the combinations at safety with KZ dinged up and yeah. uh, Wilson out, do you get Neil any kind of look there um, just to get him reaccustomed to a spot to be played? I mean, potentially. I mean, but I, I think we, we recognize he does have some of those same responsibilities, you know, when, when he plays in, in, in particularly in some of the, you know, the auxiliary sub packages that we have. Does Hooker look? Is he up to speed for what you need him to do? I thought Malik's had a really good week of practice. You know, I think it's really started last week. You can see, he's, you know, he's comfortable. Um, what we're asking him doing, he's, he's, I think, he's clearly back physically. So uh, he's put together a really nice week of work so far. How, how tough are they when you when you come up with the inactives early in the season to be okay? I need this much, but we also have these other issues. Are, are the inactives more difficult early in the season? Trying to figure out roles for guys and equating injuries and everything that you got to deal with early on. You're talking about going from the 55 to the 48. Yes. yes. You hope it would be. I mean, that's 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 where, that's the way you want to come out of camp. Uh, I think clearly with the way our roster uh, is is designed, and if you you look at particularly the you know the IR you know return group that's that's out there, it's you know it's a lot higher than than, than you, you would like, but. You know the the positive note of that is you know those players will come back at some point. So 
um, because of our injuries, I would say it's not as tough as you'd like it to be right now. What are your thoughts on how Chauncey Golston has practiced this week? I thought Chauncey had a nice day yesterday. You know, it's first time in pads. So, um, you know, Chauncey's very mature, mentally engaged. So you can see right away in the spring, uh, we were really impressed with him on how quick he picked it up and uh, was clearly ahead of the game. It's unfortunate, obviously, he got hurt when he did uh, because he missed all the padded work in training camp. So I, I think we got to be practical about where he is. You know, today, you know, yesterday was the first day in pads um, that he was part of since he played at Iowa. So, but I thought he had a nice day. Can Kamar go a little run on Sunday, or is not ready yet? Kamar. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's, you know, I think like all the young guys, you know, it's the, the vehicle is always usually uh, special teams. So he's done some really nice things there in the preseason. And, you know, I think he's had a nice week of work, too. You know, I thought he actually I thought he practiced very well last week, too. So uh, he's doing some really good things. You've been around some, well, let's be around some really good quarterbacks playing at, at an elite level. Is, do you consider Dak at that stage right now? And, and when you have a player like that, does it help you handle adversity more from the standpoint that, that you feel you have a shot in every game you go to because the quarterback's playing at such a high level with the weapons around him? I mean, just make the statement. I mean, when Dak lines up, we have a chance to win the game. I mean, that, that, that's the type of player he is. And uh, he clearly demonstrates that not only you know, on Sundays, but the way he approaches it each and every day. So, um, and, that's, and that's what you look for you know, in your franchise quarterback. How did Leon come through his surgery? And are you changing anything logistically, uh, coaching-wise, as to who might be down there? Well, no, we'll, just, we'll absorb it with the with the coaches that we have on, on the field. Uh, so understanding is everything went fine yesterday afternoon with the surgery. Uh, but yeah, we'll be able to absorb that with our with our defensive staff. Mike, we're back on the Inseki thing for a second. How, did it get scary? Was it for, for a few moments in there? With well, I think anytime you're dealing with heat. You know issues. It's it's you know it's 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 never comfortable. You know I, I think even when a when an individual needs to you know get an IV. You know it's you know be, being dehydrated is an uncomfortable feeling. It's uh, you know uh, you have guys that that may have cramped. You know af after a hot practice like that. But yeah, it's 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 never a comfortable feeling. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.